What really happened to Lisa Kelly from Ice Road Truckers? Being Ice Road Truckers' one and only female driver comes with a lot of extra attention, as Lisa Kelly has been on the show since 2009, appearing between seasons 3 and 11. However, the truckers' absence in season 6 has given rise to a lot of speculations. And if you're wondering what happened to Lisa Kelly on Ice Road Truckers, you've come to the right place. So, why did Lisa Kelly suddenly disappear from her famed life at Ice Road Truckers? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Quarter Mile, and we are back with an interesting video about Lisa Kelly, where we will reveal what really happened to her on the Ice Road Truckers show. So stay with us until the end of the video to know all about it. As you are all probably aware, Ice Road Truckers traces the lives of drivers in enormous trucks as they put their experience and skills to the test on rough, icy roads of Alaska and other areas with brutal weather conditions. Their determination to arrive at their destination safely and on time is admirable. Now, in an industry that is dominated by males and one in which only 6% is made up of females, Lisa Kelly seemed like an unconventional trucker. Despite her successes with hauling huge loads, many people still doubted Lisa Kelly's abilities behind the wheel because she was part of a very intense arena full of improbabilities. So, let's begin with Lisa's truck journey, and how did this story begin for her? Lisa Kelly was born on the 8th of December 1980 in the Grand Rapids area of Michigan. However, at the tender age of 6 years old, she moved over to Sterling, Alaska with her family. Both of Lisa's parents were professionals in the medical field, and while her parents wanted Lisa to follow in their footsteps, Lisa had other ideas. From a very young age, Lisa knew she wasn't going to have a career in the medical industry. She had grown a huge interest in driving, and in particular, huge trucks. Becoming a truck driver appealed to Lisa, as it looked captivating and intriguing. Although Lisa was aware of the path she wanted to walk down, which was of course trucking, it didn't stop her from taking art lessons and learning how to play the piano. Worlds apart from her art and her piano playing skills, as a youngster, Lisa held the title of state champion in freestyle motocross. During this period of Lisa's life, she had several driving jobs, from pizza delivery to driving school buses, in which the income was used to pay for truck driver training. Lisa also had a brief stint at college, but dropped out after receiving her commercial truck license in her early 20s. Later on, she secured a job at Carlisle Transportation in Alaska after receiving her commercial truck license. After obtaining her first trucking job, Lisa began driving vans and, in time, gained enough experience to drive the big trucks, which she practiced every time she had the opportunity. Not long after Lisa began working for Carlisle Transportation, she achieved her dream driving huge trucks and hauling big loads on the notorious Dalton Highway. This dangerous job fitted Lisa's personality perfectly, as she was known to be an adrenaline junkie. Among her many hobbies were hand gliding, skydiving, and snowboarding, as well as motocross racing. Lisa even had a once-in-a-lifetime experience when she flew with the U.S. Navy Blue Angels display team in a fighter jet. But if it was only after this time when her life made a huge turn as a few years later, a huge opportunity came knocking on Lisa's door. The History Channel reality TV show Ice Road Truckers was looking for a female trucker. Lisa's application passed with flying colors, and she was cast in Season 3 of the show. Then, from Season 3 up until Season 5, Lisa was the only female trucker until she was joined by Maya Sieber in Season 5, although Maya only stayed for one series. After two seasons, Lisa took a break from the show during season six because of personal reasons, but she returned as passionate and brave as ever and was finally joined by another female in series 10, where she worked alongside 22-year-old Stephanie Custance. Over the period in which Lisa Kelly was starring in Ice Road Truckers, her fan base grew massively, and by season 11, her Twitter fan base had reached over 70,000 followers. Not only this, but she was also cast in Ice Road Truckers' spin off show, The Deadliest Roads. It was during her time filming The Deadliest Roads that Lisa drove huge trucks 
in some of the worst and most dangerous conditions. She drove her trucks along some of the deadliest roads in the world, including mountain passes that had sheer drops, and at one stage she was driving her truck at 13,000 feet through the Himalayas. The conditions were so threatening that many drivers quit the expedition before reaching their destination. Lisa later partnered with fellow trucker Daryl Ward to begin a hauling company, but unfortunately, Ward lost his life in an airplane crash in 2016. So, was it the death of Daryl Ward which made Lisa leave the ice road truckers? Neither Kelly nor anyone involved with the show commented on why she left for IRT Season 6, but her photo and bio was removed from the show's webpage during that time. Some news outlets suggested that being constantly on camera and under the public eye with all the coverage of both her work and home life took its toll on Lisa mentally and emotionally. This first absence marked her most notable one from the show, but the break was reported to have given Kelly the rest and rejuvenation she needed to return to the program, which she did for Season 7. She appeared periodically thereafter all the way up through Season 11. So when IRT ended its run in 2017, most of the stars had disappeared into the celebrity wilderness, Lisa Kelly included, and by that time, Kelly had appeared in 84 episodes of the show. Now, is Lisa Kelly still trucking? In a May 2021 interview with Overdrive, Kelly said she currently works for a different logistics supplier than the one she worked for during her time on IRT. Her route is still similar, though, heading north from Kenai, Alaska to Prudhoe Bay, a trek of some 1,500 miles that takes about 32 hours one way with no hiccups. Adding to this, Kelly says she's still in touch with former fellow IRT star and logger Todd Dewey, and she also occasionally runs into fellow IRT alumni Jack Jesse and Phil Crom, who still drives for Carlisle. In their January 2022 story on Lisa Kelly, Hot Cars reported on her concerns about the lingering snow and longer winters of late, sometimes lasting into April. While she expressed concern for the toll this could take on her work, she also projected optimism about area road improvement efforts. Jumping onto Lisa Kelly's personal affairs, she married her native Alaskan partner, Travis Kelly, who was also an avid fan of dirt bikes and motocross racing in 2008. With the couple now living in Wasilla, Alaska, they have no children yet, although they are the proud parents of three horses as well as several cats and dogs. And while truckers are among the lowest-paid reality TV stars in the United States, Lisa Kelly has done well, with sources estimating her net worth to be more than $500,000 as of mid-2020. This is an impressive net worth in an industry dominated by men, whose female population is just 6%. According to the American Association of Truckers, it is estimated that the cost of ice road truckers is contracted $80,000 per season. Therefore, overall, it is safe to say that Lisa Kelly's life has been exhilarating, unpredictable, and hazardous. So, will we ever see her return to the TV? According to sources, Kelly is open to making a return to the media. She described the show as being on a hiatus instead of cancelled, but it's likely the pandemic further ruined any hopes for a return. Although, had the show continued, a series covering the pandemic would surely have been fascinating. The global supply chain has nearly fallen apart, and jobs have seemed insecure in all sections. So a season covering the ups and downs of this, along with the jeopardy of the ice road, would have rated highly among fans. The trucker is in a transitional part of her life, and with the ice road truckers ending a few years ago, she doesn't know if there will be more shows or not. To plan her next move, she is simplifying her life and even going so far as adopting the minimalistic lifestyle. For many, this philosophy is a major overhaul to their life. However, in a truck, there is very little space for the comforts of life. So perhaps Kelly is just trying to find a simple lifestyle for herself now, and we may not see the star on TV anytime soon. And this brings us to the end of the video. Tell us in the comments what do you think about Lisa Kelly leaving Ice Road Trucker's show? Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. And thank you for watching.